The Engaging God program is there for people to find the things that work for them within it. Um, the second restoration of all things module has a lot more depth to it and a lot more information about things which may not be where you are. And that's perfectly OK. You just go with what you feel led to do. Um, when I engage, you know, in the past, engage every morning for a mandate, I, obviously I don't do that anymore because um, I'm not looking for a mandate. I'm looking just to learn to be. And I am just being. So I'm constantly in the presence of God. I'm not going to the presence of God to find something and then come back. I'm there all the time. So whatever I'm doing there is affecting what I'm doing here positively anyway. And that's beginning just to flow into, into that. So I would um, encourage you just to keep doing what you're doing. You know, just be led as you feel, engage. There's no right or wrong about it. You know, I, I, I'm more conscious of my relationship with the father and being face to face with him all the time. Definitely something that I feel is a state of being, a state of consciousness. So I'm not, what is my mandate? I know my mandate. I know who I am. So I'm being me. That, that really is my mandate. And within the context of that, I'm only outworking what I'm seeing the father doing, which comes from knowing his heart on an intimate level all the time. So intimacy is more important for me than trying to find out something to do. You know, there are activations and encounters with intimacy and rest and things that I do do, I think, later on in the in the Engaging God program that are uh, designed really to take it that bit further. I think I do do a session on being, um, you know, I think it was doing, becoming to belong to being um, which goes into my journey in different aspects of how I've learned to move away from the need to have a set pattern of doing something into being much more flexible but obviously living multidimensionally you can be doing things in the realm of, of the spirit all the time engaging all the time I mean I spoke to a lady this morning who said the other day you know she was doing something in the realms of heaven and she engaged with me and we had a conversation so I'm there, I'm active, and you you can be there and active as well, but without necessarily needing to know what you're doing. I gave up the need to know what I was doing a long time ago. Therefore, I'm not that bothered whether I cognitively am aware or not, but I become aware of what I need to be aware of. I think rest, being, enjoying, enjoying life is more important than uh, trying to figure out what we should do. If you're close to the Father, the Father will reveal anything that you need to know anything that you need to be aware of and anything he wants you to be involved in and you can go with that and go with the flow of that um, but I do believe as you say you believe you're changing you're, you're engaging you know don't feel under any obligation or pressure to do anything more than that you may well all be doing already be doing more than that but you're not necessarily aware of it or need to be and that would be my encouragement is just stay in that place of rest enjoy if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.